Hello, welcome to Balloons Around the World. I'm Mr. Sam. Today we are at the Grand Canyon. Ho ho ho! It's the largest canyon in the world. The steep sides of the canyon were cut by the Colorado River for a length of about 270 miles or 440 kilometers. Hmm, pretty big canyon. It deserves the name. Today, making a balloon requested by Giovanna in Ciudad Juarez in Mexico. I'm going to make an Elmo balloon. We're going to use mostly red 260s for our Elmo balloons. Starting off with the head. Do a little lock twist through there. Roll that one through. Basically just twisting them off and rolling them through. I'm going to get a bundle of five Red sausages. Some chichas. Mm. Okay, it's gonna look about like that. Next, get another red 260. Play it about the same. <clears throat> right here, lock with that through. Do another little sausage. I like to give four, a little bundle of four sausages with this little dingle dongle hanging off the end there. And with this part, I like to just cut off the end and shorten it down to about two inches long and tie it off. And I'm gonna set these aside to use in just a minute. For now, I'm going to get started on the arms, arms and legs of our Elmo. This is an Elmo design I learned. It must have been about six or seven years old. So it's been about three years now since then. <laughs> so, yeah, but I've used this design over and over. It's a big wow factor and it's not very difficult. So I basically just made a little Kind of like a poodle face almost. Yeah, like a little poodle face. And then I make a little short arm, twist it into the body there, and then just repeat on the other side. Maybe do a little pinch twist here. And then three more bubbles. Put those into it themselves there. Something like that. And then I just break off the rest because I don't need it. going to be our, our arms and hands of Elmo. I'm use one more red 260. Most of these I'm just really inflating them about yay much. I guess that's about a hand's width left over. Now for the legs, I make a little loop. Loop the doop. And another pinch twist. Something like that. And then I thread this through the body cavity. Right here. And I come down just right where I want my leg to rest. And push that through. Twist it around. And then just copy this on the other side. Pinch twist. Loop. And break off the excess. All right. So I'm going to get my head back real quick. Lost my head. There it is. OK. Now I just push that through. OK. And so far, we've got Elmo's body and head. And Elmo has those characteristic big big eyes and red nose. Um, growing up I used I used white heart for the eyes and a red uh, uh, sorry an orange orange round five inch round for the nose but um, I don't have any orange rounds right now so I will just use a, uh, a 260 when we get to that part. I just pump up the 
white heart without getting much. Tie it off. And this, although it looks like it might pop, it's really not going to pop. I've never, I don't think I've ever popped one of these white hearts twisting it this way. I'm going to twist it right down the middle. Right down the middle. There you go. Two eyes. And at this point, I usually just attach this onto the uh, balloon, the little piece of red balloon that was hanging off of the Elmo. Okay, so we've got some eyes on there. I just really tied it onto this red piece that was hanging off there. And for the nose, I'm not going to get too complicated with it. It'll just be a little red and orange, orange balloon. Tie it up there. Give it a little knot. And then I'm going to loop it. Whoa! I guess I didn't put those eyes on there well enough. And then with the nozzle end of my uh, orange balloon, just cut off the rest because I don't really need it. Find the nozzle end, end right there, and wrap it around, wrap it in there. Great weather out here for twisting balloons right now. I'm really glad we came to the Grand Canyon today. Check out this Elmo. Now I don't know whose design this was. I think I might have learned it from one of my older siblings who were into twisting balloons at that time. But it has never failed me. It always gets a wow. And when I'm on top of my game, it takes about three minutes to make. You can really pump these out pretty quick, good for line work. All right, there's our little Elmo. Hey, Elmo, see you later. He's okay.